Hey everybody, this is Al with CADCAMWizard.com. I wanted to jump on real quick and talk about a, a common topic I see come up in different threads. It has to do with uh, witness marks of your tool as you're profiling around your part. So like what we see here, the tool's gonna come around, it starts at a location, and it's gonna, it's gonna feed down into the material, and then it's gonna work its way around. Okay, and then it's going to go down again and it's going to work its way around and go down again and work its way around. Okay, so this purple line here, this is the transition line when it goes down and it's going to leave a witness mark. It's going to leave a, a discoloring. You'll be able to tell that this is where the tool came in from. So what do you do? How do you fix this? Well, there's a number of ways to do it. Uh, probably the easiest thing to do is just to move your start position into a corner, okay? A lot of times we want to use a corner location because it will kind of hide where the lead-in position is, so that's an option for you. Uh, depending on what cam system you're running, you may have additional lead options so you can get the tool to start and finish off the part, and that will definitely uh, hide or remove those uh, those lines, but you still may be able to see uh, where the tool is transitioning or each step to cut. This could have to do with the quality of your equipment uh, or the rigidity of your setup. So what are some other ways you can do to eliminate this? Uh, well, you could ramp, okay? So in this software, you have a, a ramp routine here. And then what you would do is just make a, a small amount per pass and you're just going to let it uh, ramp all the way down to the bottom. Uh, so this way, by ramping, it stays in the cut, and that will also help uh, remove some of those witness marks. Now, the last tip that I have for you guys, if you don't have any of those options and you're still, you're still dealing with these witness marks, is what you'll do is you'll leave material for finish. Okay, In this software, you can leave a specific amount, Okay, and then... You can rough down to the bottom uh, just before the finish, and then you can run a single finish pass all the way around the part, okay? So you could leave material uh, just so there's a little bit on the wall, and then just take your finish pass in one step, okay? So that way you get one consistent finish all the way around. Uh, this is Bobcad Cam, the software that I'm using. If you're in Vetrix or another package, Carbico, uh, you know, any number of them. Uh, you may have to use slightly different workflow, but if you apply these steps, uh, it will improve your finish. Uh, let me know how it works out in the comments. Thank you so much.